Hello everyone. On this video, you will learn how to download a PDF file using ASP.NET Web API. For this video, we're going to be using Visual Studio 2022, but this can be used with older Visual Studio such as 2019. So let's get started. So first things first, we're going to open up Visual Studio. In our case, like I said, it's Visual Studio 2022. We're going to create a new project. We're going to choose ASP.NET Web Application. You can just search here. ASP.NET Web Application. And it's going to be ASP.NET Web Application.NET Framework. Go ahead and click Next. And let's click, let's name it Download API Test. Create. Now we're going to choose Web API. Go ahead and create. First things first. Let's go ahead and run our project. Make sure there's no errors or that everything is up and running. All right, our project is good to go. No, step number two is going to be, we are going to add a PDF to our content folder here. So right click on your content folder, click add, click existing item. You can choose any PDF you want. I have a desktop in PDF that I converted an image to a PDF. So I'm gonna open it up so you guys can see what it looks like. This is what's gonna look like. It's a PDF of a picture that I have on my local PC. Go ahead and close it. As you guys can see, it's the name of the PDF is tst.pdf. Next step is, let's go ahead and create a new controller, add. So right click on your controller folder, add controller. You can pick the first one, MVC5 controller, empty. Let's call it download. Go ahead and click add. Our controller is up and running here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change this controller to API controller because we're creating an API, right? If you see this squiggly line, just go ahead and hover it and select using system.web.http, okay? Let's go ahead and take this out here. We don't, we're gonna name this something else. Let's create a public HTTP response message. And then we're gonna do just a get. All right, that's the name of our, fun our function is gonna be just a get. So if you see this squiggly line, once again, hover it, give it a second and then make sure you're using, uh, using system.net.http and then you see it's gonna go away. The reason the get isn't going away, it's because we need to create a response, of course. So this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna create a response to a result equals new response. And we're gonna put a status of okay here for now http status code dot okay and we're going to return a result just so we get rid of that squiggly line over there first thing we're going to do is we need to retrieve our pdf from this location here so let's go ahead and create the the string for the uir for the pdf location pdf location it's going to be equals hosting environment uh, environment dot map we're gonna put our path here make sure you hover and make sure you're using system dot web dot hosting now let's grab our path or I have my path here somewhere else so it's pretty much this is this oops this is what you're gonna need to do so this is your base path for your project. This is your content folder, which is gonna be this folder, and this is my file. That's what the path's gonna look like. All right, next thing we're gonna do is start a, start a stream. It's gonna be a new stream, equals new memory stream. Got a lot of memory stream. Just over it. Use, make sure you're using, using system.io. 
and it's going to be system dot io dot file dot read all bytes. We're going to read all the bytes from our PDF. Pretty much creating a memory stream of the bytes of our PDF. Let's set our string position. Our stream position to zero. First, we're going to do a first check here, right? If stream equals null, if we don't find a file or if this fails, right? If something happens here, we're going to return a request. Oops. Dot create response http status go dot not found that's in case if nothing is found you have a message saying nothing was found or from the result from the response message that we have here we're going to add a content and the content is going to be a new stream content and it's the content of my R stream is going to come from from this memory stream here Then result dot content dot headers dot content disposition. It's going to be new content dot header disposition dot value. So let's start. The, our first example is going to be inline. What inline is going to do is when you run the project and you call this controller, it's going to display the PDF to your browser right away. You don't have to download or anything. It's just going to display it to you. So let's continue and I'll show you a way to do it to download. Now let's continue. So result dot content dot headers dot content disposition dot file name. Now you can name this whatever you like. It doesn't really matter. Let's do file test dot PDF. So next line we're going to pass in the media type header value value of the type of the file on this case is going to be a PDF. So result dot content dot content oops dot header dot content type. It's going to be new media new media type header value as I mentioned before, and it's going to be application slash PDF. Let's go ahead and. Let's make this a little bit smaller so you guys can see everything here. There you go. And finally, we're going to pass in our content length, which is going to be our stream, which is our our email, our PDF here, stream dot length, and we're just going to return result. All right, let's uh, let's go line by line here. Make sure covered everything. So first line is just a response result, response object, which is HTTP response message. Second line, it's the location where the PDF is located. On this case, I added to our content folder on the right side here. You guys can add whatever you want. Make sure you have Visual Studio has access to it. Now I I read all the bytes from the PDF into a memory stream. Here's our first check to make sure our stream, our memory stream is, isn't empty. If it's empty, just return a not found. You don't have to do this, but it's, it's good practice. Second of all, we set our content for in our result message here to a stream content, and we set our stream here to a, the stream content. So this line is here, it's a pretty important line, because this is the way it's gonna be displayed on the browser. So it's gonna be inline. Inline means it's gonna just display in the browser, you don't have to download or anything or do anything else. And this is the name of the file. We set in the name of the file here that you're going to see. And this is the type of the file. On our case, it's going to be a PDF. And this is just setting the length of the content, which is our stream.length. All right, let's test it out. All right, so because I used API controller on our browser here after we run our project, go ahead and do slash API is slash and the name of the controller, which in our case is download and hit enter. There it is. It's pretty straightforward. As you guys can see here, the PDF just showed up on your browser. We can browse it. We can zoom in, zoom out. You can flip it. You can do all kinds of stuff here. It's already built in on the browser. For example, I'm using Chrome. So it's been built in Chrome to do all this of uh, 
this, these options. And you can also download from here if you want it, okay? Or even print it. You can click here to print. So this is the inline. This is this inline option here. Now, if we just change the inline option to attachment option, oops, attachment option, and go ahead and run it, what's going to happen now is it, the file or PDF, it's gonna automatically download. So API slash download. As you guys can see here, here's our file test.pdf. And once again, just so you guys remember here, we set this name here, the file test PDF on our code here. So as you guys can see here, it's file PDF, it's file test.pdf. And if you click on it, it opens the same way as it did before. So it it's either it depends on what you like or what your customer wants or you know what your pro project requires. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to drop this um code on the link on a link below if you guys have any questions make sure you drop a comment